In an interview with his newsroom today, Dr. Amblin said about 42 million kina has been spent on road maintenance alone to try and connect the affected areas to basic services again. He said out of the 150 million kina given by the government, they have used up two-thirds of the funds and 50 million kina remaining to carry on with the relief supplies. We have a long-term problem with the uh, of, uh, supply in that um, the uh, C-130s from Australia and New Zealand are going to depart and the Chinook helicopters and then we're going to be left with the need for ground transport so to the major centres so that we can then use the helicopters, the smaller helicopters to get uh, the supplies out. So we have to resolve that issue somehow. He further added that a massive job is yet to be completed in terms of infrastructure development. He added that they have been stretched to the limit as to coordinate the relief supply. In terms of uh, funding, we're getting money, as you saw this morning, from donors, which is very much appreciated. We need it uh, to buy supplies. We've got to maintain these people in this area, I would suggest, for at least three months till crops regrow. Uh, in some areas it will be significantly longer. Meantime, Dr. Amblin said relief supply for the people of Telefomin should be arriving in the district today. Telefomin, and uh, Candep, uh, Nomad uh, and the Heights 4 area, we, we have not got to. Mm. Right? We're trying to get to them. We know they have to be serviced mm. and we're doing it as fast as, as humanly possible and may I add, as fast as we can get the supplies. At the moment, Morrow is just about out of supplies. Freddie Moe, TV One News.